I am someone who n loves to see the natural world and notice its patterns and cycles. So when I was learning the whole philosophy and theory of Chinese medicine, it, it felt familiar to me already. So it's really cool to be able to talk to someone, distinguish what is the pattern or cycle that's presenting here, where's the imbalance, and what can we do to direct your life force energy in a specific way that's going to cause um, a balancing of that imbalance, you know? I was introduced to acupuncture because I had been experiencing um, stomach issues, digestive issues, and some depression. A friend of mine who was also working with me was going to acupuncture school. He told me, why don't you come to the student clinic? It's more affordable, you know, we're being supervised. You can come and, and get some acupuncture and I think it could help you. And so I went and it did help. It helped so much with my stomach issues and with my depression. Cut to about maybe five years later, I was still in the spot of like, what do I want to do with my life? And I just happened to look around my apartment and look at my books and all of my books were about some sort of holistic healing, some sort of like alternative healing. And I thought about how acupuncture had helped me so much. So that day I called the school, I scheduled a tour, and at that tour I signed right up for school, <laughs> which is a four-year program and a four-year commitment. I graduated when I was about 38 years old, so, you know, it's kind of late in life, I guess you might say. And now I've been doing it for 15 years. I don't think anybody knows exactly how it works, but I think that there is some level of using the fascia as sort of like an energetic highway throughout the entire body, and the fascia connects to everything. And in 4,000 years ago, the Chinese somehow discovered that these channels and meridians that run through the whole body um, hold energy, it becomes stagnant in, in these certain points where energy pools and when those pooled areas get stagnant, it causes pain or illness. I'm still fascinated by it every day that I go to work, I put tiny needles in somebody's body and then they feel better. Even if you're afraid of needles, if you're afraid of trying acupuncture, definitely come talk to me. Uh, I will tell you everything I can to help you be more familiar with what the process is like and what it might feel like. Um, it's actually a very relaxing modality. All you're gonna do is lay there and take a nap and get better while you're doing it. I would be happy to talk to anybody about energy, acupuncture, channeling, aliens, because um, we're gonna be in the perfect space for alien talk. Marfa to me is a really special place and it's why I'm getting on a plane even though I'm scared to get on a plane. <laughs> That's how much I like Marfa. I feel like the energy of creation right there and, and, and it's seen in the art and the artists that live there that creation is very alive in Marfa um, and I think connecting and contacting that, that element of newness within yourself of like what what is there for me to create as far as like who I am how I'm being um, what do I want to offer the world I think that's all available to you when you go to Marfa